Hello everyone, today is April 1, 2011. I just want to give you a radiation fallout report. As, we, as you can see, um, all this fallout we're getting is from the um, country of Japan. As you can see, the right side of Japan is showing there are six reactors there and four of the six are in trouble. And we have some meltdowns in some of them. And these last meltdowns has um, some dangerous chemicals in it, plutonium. And uh, right now we're seeing clouds coming over the United States that doesn't have the plutonium in it, but it does have radiation in it. So I'm going to give you um, a series of different reports around our country where showing radiation is being detected. And so um, I hope you enjoy my report and let me know by filling some stuff out down below. <laughs> I love getting um, messages from everybody. So here we go with our first report. Thank you. Okay, here I found an article on the internet, uh, CBS News out of uh, St. Louis. Um, the article is about Springfield, Illinois, where radiation was believed to be, to be released uh, from the nuclear plant out of Japan. Uh, what happened was they were doing a uh, regular drill because they have nuclear plants in their area and they took grass clippings as part of that drill and to their surprise the samples came back and they were tested positive for radioactive iodine. So because of that they took samples of the Springfield air and it also detected a radiation material. But according to Patty Thompson over at the Illinois Emergency Management Agency, she's saying the levels are low. But anyway, I just want to give you heads up in the Illinois area that um, this radiation has been detected. Okay, we're going to go over to Alexander Higgins' blog and see what he has to say with, with the radiation in the San Francisco, California area. Um... The EPA has been telling everybody there's no harmful levels of radiation from the Japan nuclear fallout. But the University of, of Berkeley in California has did testing and they're reporting that the rainwater in San Francisco is at a level of 18,100% above federal drinking water standards. Okay EPA, you're, you're doing a cover up here. You're supposed to be protecting the American people and you're not doing it. You're supposed to let people know when something like that is coming around. So just want to give everybody the heads up that EPA is not doing their job. So a big uh, thank you goes out to um, this Alexander Higgins blog. Um, and thank you for putting that information out there for people to know. Okay, I just want to give you also some reports that we've received uh, came out on Wednesday up in the state of Washington that the government announced that uh, traces of radiation has been discovered in the milk there, but because it's so low, it wasn't any health risk. And then over on the East Coast, the uh, state of Virginia are telling their, um, their residents not to drink the rainwater since the radiation has been discovered on the East Coast. We also have had a friend of mine to let me know that there's been radiation found in the milk in Upper State, New York. Okay, we're doing a um, simulation map that's showing the potential of uh, radiation fallout over North America. And just want to give you a little description of the simulation map before I show it to you. Uh, as you can see, the light purple um, has will come in first and then you'll see the dark blue uh, it's going to be coming from the uh, Canadian border and coming down to the Midwest and then coming down to the Mid-South and then over to the East Coast. Um, you'll notice at the top of the page they'll have um, the date and the time of the simulation and when it's going to come in so um, please make note of that. According to Dr. Deagle, uh, if, if it rains or snows in your area, it, it's got the potential to bring us to the ground. 
and if you have detected any in your area please do not go out in it because according to Dr. Deagle the lifetime of this uh, radiation that's fallen at this moment is between eight and eight and a half days so just want to give you caution on that so okay we're going to watch the simulation and um, please be sure to check it every day uh, I'll get put the link below thank you